Welcome to the GTP. My name is Scott where we talk all things manga. In this video I'm excited to share with you my manga haul for the month of August of over 45 plus volumes and the goal of this video is not only to say hey you know I picked up and I bought this but why did I buy this and if I did it did I even read it and if I read it obviously not upside down Scott, what were your thoughts? Is this a series I should check out? What do you think based on a parent's view? So through this video, we're gonna go out, I'm gonna share each with you, each volume I bought of different things like Fungo Stray Dogs. And we'll go ahead and we'll talk about the ones that I read as well as give you just a, a bit of a for parents perspective whether or not something that might be worth for you or someone else you know. So before we get started, I'd love to know in the comments below, please let me know what are you currently reading or picking up it's so fun to check out the different community comments and then everyone sharing together what they are reading and i actually pick up a lot of your recommendations that's why we get so many volumes each month because you guys keep recommending such wonderful things this video is sponsored by tokyo treats and sakura let's go ahead and open up this month's box from tokyo treats where they want everyone to experience japan from the comfort of your own home through these snack boxes one of my favorite things from this box is these cream colin lemon snacks it is absolutely a delight going ahead and eating these i've never heard of anything like this before but this was such a fun let's say treat from tokyo Tokyo Treat is a fun and exclusive Japanese snack box featuring unique and exclusive flavors from all around Japan. Each box is filled with a variety of fun size, fun, and exclusive Japanese snack items like limited edition Kit Kats, unique flavored Japanese chips, and occasionally Japanese sodas that are only available in Japan for a limited time. One thing I also appreciate is just getting some unique chips. I never in my wildest dreams would have thought of garlic shrimp flavored chips as an option, let alone something I would enjoy. But surprisingly enough, these are very good. Again, something fun getting from Japan you're not gonna find in the States. Toku Treats theme, Moonfest Snacktacular. The seasons are changing and Japan's lunar party is almost here. Tsumi or moon viewing is all about having a blast with family and enjoying delicious seasonal treats. Dive into the fun and savor all the tasty and exciting Tsumi inspired treats in this month's Toku Treat box. And to top it off, just a little sweetness with this chocolate outside, cookie center is the crunky cookie ball these were delicious let's go ahead and open up this month's box from sakurako sakurako is a monthly japanese artisan snack box that supports local japanese snack makers each box comes with 20 traditional authentic and artisan japanese snacks including japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. One thing I don't highlight enough, which I wish I did when it comes to Kuriko, is their amazing teas. I end up getting a Japanese tea set, trying to go with these themes that I've really appreciated these boxes from Sakurako. And I gotta say, this month's green tea, if you're a green tea fan, this is the best green tea I have had yet from Sakurako. So good. This is even better than, um, sometimes I'll go to like a Japanese restaurant and get their green tea. And I gotta say, getting something actually authentic from Japan itself, this is so much better. So Kuriko's theme, Autumn Moon Festival. Japan's lunar celebration is a time to honor the autumn moon and share special moments with loved ones over seasonal delicacies. Now, my favorite thing from this box, besides a delicious tea, is this lemon baked flavored treat. This chocolate lemon thing, I'm, I'm kind of bummed out they only gave us one of these. I now want to buy a whole pack as this was just, oh, the smell, the, the lemon is to it. I, I wish there was more to show you here as I've already taken a bite. I do try the treats before I give recommendations, but sorry, my mouth's just watering as I think about this. I'm so good. I just wish there were more of them. This was phenomenal. This month's Sakurako invites you to capture the essence of the viewing and indulge in its authentic and savory flavors. Now to top it all off with that delicious green tea, just a pairing as you might say, I would recommend just going to get a little bit down the harbor, getting a delicious fish. 
Luckily they gave us two of these and this Taiyaki flavored custard fish is just absolutely delicious. Celebrate the autumn season and enjoy a traditional moon viewing experience with Sakurako. I gotta say, I really appreciate these Sakurako and Tokyo treat boxes coming once a month. It's become a family tradition of coming alongside each other, being able to open up these boxes and try different snacks from Japan. It's our family's dream to one day go to Japan together and I really appreciate we can just get a little bit of that flavor experience of Japan itself in the comfort of our own home once a month. And it's just been a fun family tradition. So if you are interested in checking out any of these snacks for yourself, getting a little flavor of Japan, I recommend you can actually use my promo code GEEKS to get $5 off your next box set. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. And we always start with ongoing or missing titles that I receive from Viz Media. And I actually don't have as much Viz Media this time, which is usually my big stack. So hopefully the video won't be as long as last time. But first is Spy X Family. This is volume 12. Still hilarious. I absolutely love this series. Um, this is one of the series that just has many laugh out loud moments and just the comedy aspect of following the spy with this girl who is an assassin and then their adoptive daughter who is a telepath and neither of them know what the other person does. So the spy doesn't know that his wife is an assassin. The assassin doesn't know that her husband's a spy. Neither of them know that the girl is a telepath and it's just so, so funny. So many laugh out loud moments. I absolutely love this. And now my 13 year old daughter is gaining to the series and she loves it as well. Highly recommend checking out. It is a great, great series. Now next is a series that I actually knew nothing about going into and that is about Rakugo. But this is Akane Banashi. This is volume seven. And for a series that is about storytelling and not an action or a typical shown jump title, I can't believe that with each volume, I desperately want to know what's gonna happen next as they sit together and they're battling out sharing who can tell the best story, who can ease the audience in and just get not only just laughs, but be able to just wow people by their storytelling abilities. So it is such a great story as you're following this main gal here as she is wanting to be in this Rakugo spear, being able to follow in her father's footsteps. Sometimes I get a little teary eyed thinking of that relationship between a daughter and her father, but it is phenomenal. I'm so glad that Shown Jump decided to continue to release this. I know it's doing very well on their platform. This is one that I, if you, you know, like, eh, I don't know, I, I kid you not, this will surprise you. Sometimes, I'm not gonna say sometimes, it is definitely worth checking out different things, different genres, even if it's not something you normally would be interested in. This one is phenomenal. It's one you need to check out. Next I picked up was Mission Yuzakura Family Volume 12. Now this is a story about this spy family, not just we talk about spy X family, but this is a group of, of siblings together that go on these spy missions and it has its funny moments like Spy X Family. Not as funny as Spy X Family, but still has its moments of hilarious, but there's a wholesome aspect to seeing the family go together. And I've got to say the main arc is very, very good. The main story drive of finding out just about, you know, the past coming back to haunt them. And I don't want to give spoilers, but it is really good. Now there are moments I was kind of bummed out with this volume here where it went off to like side little stories, which I understand more wholesome or trying to be more humorous, but I was like, I don't want to hear this high story. Let's go back to the main agenda, what they're trying to do. So when it focuses on the main agenda on what's really going on, it's phenomenal. I'm really enjoying this. There's not as many titles like this currently out right now. And so I'm glad that we now have a physical copy. This was in digital jail for a while, a digital only in English. I'm very grateful that they decided it is bring it out physically. Up next I picked up is the Elusive Samurai Volume 12. And this is from the same author that got us Assassination Classroom. Now this is currently the anime is ongoing right now. I, I This is another series I want to recommend. It's just gotten better and better. Actually the first two volumes I wasn't sure, but the third volume sucked me in. As you're following this main character who's has this heir of this legacy, this dynasty that was overthrown and you're following this young boy as he's trying to get back his throne and get back his land and everything that was conquered and taken away from him by 
you know, plot twist, someone in the family you just can't trust. So uh, very good. It's neat seeing the historical aspects of what happened in Japan during, you know, the let's say the 1300s or so, or during the Edo period. So I really appreciate at the back, we have little side comments where, if you know, you want to know a little bit more of Japanese culture and what things were like back then. Uh, they do that as well, which I just, I think it's phenomenal. I'm very glad they did that. Not very many manga I've read add those things. So I'm um, very good. Another one. I feel like I'm recommending everything so far, but you know, I buy things that are good. Okay. Next is a story that actually I have not started yet. And that is Blue Exorcist. This is volume 29. This is just a series where so many volumes were out of print for so long. And I finally got them all at once. And with this lovely backlog, I just have not started it yet. So it's in the back burner. So hopefully someday I will be able to tell you more. Now, next I picked up was Boys Abyss Volume 6. And I do appreciate this is a second volume that wasn't sealed in plastic. So wasn't as too many moments you're like, ah, uh, ah, uh, gotta turn the page, turn the page. Um, but this is one of those stories where first it's like a bad car accident or train wreck that you know you should not look and you want to look away, but for some reason you keep coming back to the accident and wanting to get a peek a little more of back in that curtain to see what is happening. So it's very cringy. It's definitely not for kids. Very dark as you're following this boy who's just in a is a horrible small town. He needs to get out of that town, but things just keep pulling him back into that city in this little town here, and it's just not good. And then the people who are there to help him are only making things worse, and it's just, it's so, so sad. It's hard. If you like good, good night pun pun, this will probably scratch that same itch. I'm still, it's one of those things that has hooks in me where I really want to know what's gonna happen next. And at the same time, I'm cringing. We're like, man, should I really be reading this series? Next up I picked up is probably one of my favorite new series by Viz that's come out this year. And this is Hirosumi, this is volume two. This is a slice of life series where we're following this main character here who, um, this person that uh, passed away ended up giving him a house. He's 29 years old and then now his, uh, I think his cousin has now moved in and he's helping her out as she's going to school. And it's just, it's been very wholesome. You just can't help but smile when you're reading the story. Just can't smell in his antics and just, it's funny. And it just for a slice of life series, it's, this is a more wholesome one, especially with the summer and now where seasons are about and changing. It just is such a feel good story. And I don't know, there's not as many of them out there I feel like right now. So if you're looking for a wholesome slice of life, feel good story, I think this is one you need to check out, at least the first volume. The first volume alone will give you enough of an ideal whether or not this is one you wanna keep reading. Next I picked up was volume three of Neighborhood Story. This is the prequel to Paradise Kiss, which is a very famous author that also gave us Nana. What's nice about this, it's about a two-in-one edition from Viz. We get these lovely French flaps here with a little prettiness, oh, so fine. Um, I wanted to pick up this series just because I was so grateful for another shoujo series being reprinted and I guess not reprinted, brought to the States for the very first time as there was not an English translation before physically. So uh, I, that's the reason why I wanted to get it. I'm just, there's, I think there's one more volume. So I decided just to wait till I get them all at once. And I just want to read the story and give you a nice review on what I think. Surprise, surprise, we're actually on the last of Viz Media. I'm slowing down on my haul collections, hopefully, even though we still got over 45 volumes. And that is Jojo Bizarre Avenger Stow Ocean. This is part four. Sorry, this is number volume five of part six. I have all the other ones. I've read one, two, and three. I liked both of them for their own things. Felt like each one stacked on top of itself and just the weight, the storytelling, very, very good. So because of that, we're on the train. We've got more coming along. So that's the reason why I picked this up. And then lo and behold, I'm just waiting for the seventh one, which everybody loves. And luckily, Steel Ball Run is not connected to all these, it's a side story in an alternate universe, I believe, but everyone loves that. And for something that has never had in uh, actually official English to be so high up a list on popularity and just people's recommendations, the best of all time, I'm so excited when we get that. So I felt to do it justice. I need to continue on and collecting JoJo's. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to ongoing or missing titles that I received from Yen Press, which we actually have quite a bit because as you knew last time, if you watched my video, thanks to our lovely people at Crunchyroll, for some reason they could not ship the order and bring things up in a more timely manner. So because of that, it took a while and I was shocked. Here's another thing with Ciara wasn't very happy with. We already have a video about 
other things as you know the packaging there was nothing in it in the box there was nothing protecting it and i was actually surprised luckily i didn't have anything that was too scuffed or damaged but they just put everything together and i was just uh, a little shocked to see just not only is quality going down just on communications but now the quality is also happening on packaging but we're not here for that you want to see what i bought and i got bongo stray dogs volume 24 of this detective series have we been reading the series no we have not do we need to yes so we won't get too much more in that but it's a very popular series and i knew i needed to go get it and now it's not printing as much uh each volume is a lot further out right now is we're pretty much caught up so i ordered the whole series a long time ago it took a while as in between prints during our lovely COVID era now with them all coming in i just need to get that one off the back burner next i picked up was oshay no co volume 7 and what's interesting is we're going back to the white spines i don't want to pick it up right now but i also have what's interesting is they go from white spines to black and now we went back to the white here and it's kind of like we started black maybe we're going dark and now we're going to the light oh this is so so good i just want to read on the back it says to me acting is revenge and so i don't want to spoil the story if you've not read it but volume one one alone will give you an idea whether or not this is worth it but you're following this main character here who is on the hunt for revenge and it's just so so good love seeing more behind the scenes on what acting would be like um, it's not as serious as i ever thought it would just become one of my favorites ongoing series but it's definitely so so good all right next is a manga series that i originally purchased because i saw one panel and i was laughing so hard i was like man i got to check out that series and that is Emmett's in shadow this is volume 10 now the anime which i thought was also very good but i'll actually let you know i think the manga is better than the anime and the reason why is just the panels itself and how they set the panels is just a lot more funny moments now if you want more of the action sequences which are really good and entertaining on that aspect there i think the anime does it better um the anime i didn't like has more of that itchiness to it where you don't have that as much here in the manga which i really appreciate but if you're looking for a fantasy isekai series with just many laugh out loud moments you know we'll stop there i have a review video if you want to check out my review you can check out more but i'm thoroughly still enjoying the series next up i picked up is another shoujo series honey lemon soda volume six and this is one of the series that just keeps getting better and better and better as you're following our main character here as she is developing and you know needing needing this guy first with the lovely honey lemon hair and you know helping her become the person she needs to be and now you're seeing her not only come out of her shell but you're seeing her become being able to now influence everybody else and help them be better so following this girl who was bullied in middle school so she ended up changing to a different high school and trying to come out of her shell it's just been um, so good uh emotional uh, a little teary-eyed myself here um, but i'm thoroughly enjoying it. i think this is one of the better shoujo series that's currently ongoing all right next i picked up is another shoujo series which you know i'm on the verge where i'm not sure if i want to keep reading i get a little annoyed at this series but that is no longer heroin volume 7 this is also a train wreck but now the train is just a little annoying the wreck and i'm not sure but you know there's three more volumes ago we've already gone this far i think it's i still want to continue and i gotta say one thing that's bothering me this has happened twice now is that towards the end and i know there's a reason for them doing this but they decide to give us a side story in between so halfway in well not even halfway in but i feel like they added this extra bonus story here and I, I don't want the bonus story I, I want more on volume seven of the actual story going on this is the second time they have done this i wish this was just something completely separate could have bought separately those who want a short story collection from the author i want to follow the main story and so i'd like to see the pacing go up a little bit as you're following this heroine girl who who wants to be the main heroine of the story and win the prince charming of her dreams and he rejects her and she's actually becoming a bit of a villain now and as a bit of a villain she's gone her way and gone now with this other guy and now the prince charming person that rejected her kind of likes her now and you're not sure what's going to get in. the guy she's with now is not that great of a guy either but she's not that great of a person either she's willing to pull people down to get what she wants without realizing even though she wants to do what's right um, sorry that's a mouthful for it uh, again i i like the series up to probably the first four volumes were good and then i'm like eh, volume five i was like i don't know if i'm gonna do the same more volume six was good 
And we got to volume seven, and I'm like, yeah. So I will get through the whole 10, and then I'll have a final say on it. But this is one I'm on the back burner, whether, wondering whether or not this should be shelf worthy. But as of right now with this, I'm just a little frustrated. All right, next up I got is the Primal Gods and Ancient Times. Now this does have our lovely parental discretion advice, so not for kids, which was weird because the first volume I thought was fine, and the second volume had a lovely shrink wrap around it, and there was a section where I'm like, yeah, I get it. Third one and fourth had shrink wrap. Third, I'm like, I don't think there needs it. Fourth one, yeah, I get why there's a little shrink wrap on this, but that's beside the point. But you're following the story. It's, it's gotten very interesting of just a little different, different gods throughout Japan. And you're following this girl on her journey with these two other people as they're traveling these different places. And there's a bigger story going on behind the scenes. And this was one of those like I like to say that big reveal chapter. So this volume one had some big reveal moments about the past of when the main characters understand like, oh, that's why the way they are. That's why they're going this route. So I thoroughly enjoyed this fantasy series. This is much better. I don't hear enough people talking about this, but I'm thoroughly enjoying the series. I think you should, it's worth picking up a couple of volumes for it. I guess it really clicked with this volume here. After the third one, I was like, I don't know. First of all, I'm like, oh, this is pretty interesting. Um, and then I just I've been confused on why are we traveling this path? Why are we they meeting these different gods and getting instruments and who's the enemy here? But the, this one really solidified it and there's now like a conclusive conclusive like this is where we're headed and I'm excited to go along with them on this journey. All right, next is probably the hottest anime that's come out in a long time and now we got the last volume and that is Delicious in the Dungeon Volume 14. If you're on the fence of the series, I would hold off as they've now announced the lovely box set. I just had all the other volumes. So because of that, uh, I did not have the chance to, um, if I knew there's a box set, I would not order the singles because the box set looks really good. So uh, this is, it's not quite cooking, not quite a dungeon. Well, many men dungeon, uh, cooking and comedy series. So Avenger series, I've not read enough of the series. So I don't want to give as much more details on other than that. So again, anime is doing very well. So uh, this is one on my short list. It's now complete with 14 volumes. I love the idea when series are fully complete. So it's one I need to go ahead and dive in and finish and read. All right, next up is Boshi the Rock Volume 4. This is a hilarious series. I love that this is uh, four panels. So we have four panels for each one. We just read all the way down. There is a ton of dialogue, so don't let the skinnier volume fool you. This takes me a lot longer to read than some of the more thicker volumes I have. Uh, very funny as you're following, reminds me a little bit of Comey Can't Communicate with Volshi. is just this girl who uh, has just a social disorder, anxiety syndrome, where just talking to people freaks her out. Um, but she's a very good guitarist to the point where if she's in a box and people can't see her, she can play very well. Um, but just very, very funny as you're following these girls as they're trying to start a band and, and make it big. So uh, if you're looking for something that's wholesome, just kind of a bit of a cozy, just ha ha funny, um, this one I highly recommend. Next I picked up is volume six of the business proposal. This is one I have not read yet, but I have read another series that is similar. That's another Korean drama series. Um, which we'll talk to in a little bit. The reason why I haven't gotten this is because I had a, the volume one was stuck for so long. I need to read it soon. This is actually on my very short, short, short list. There's 10 volumes total. It's important I read. And one of the videos I want to do coming up soon is talking about just the Eyes Press line, which is this from, which is from the Yen Press. So I love Eyes Press. I'm really getting into Manhwa, which is a Korean comics. There's so many good things out there and I don't think enough people are talking about. So because of that, I gotta get this read so I can tell you my thoughts. So other than that, I picked that up. Next, I picked up one of my favorite current series and that is Soul Leveling Volume 9. So this series, the anime just came out so it's very, very popular, but you're following this guy who's just very weak and all of a sudden he's in this dungeon, he's one of the only survivors and he gets this ability to be able to level up and get better and you're following him on his trajectory. So. I'd say if you like RPGs, it has a bit of those elements here. So there's a punishment if he doesn't uh, work out. So it's like the idea, you did 100 push-ups, you get a little reward. I wish real life was like that, where a little icon would come on where, you know, there's gonna be a penalty if I don't do those things and kind of force myself to work out. Uh, but very, very interesting. You're seeing him get equipped, you know, with, with different daggers and they have like the plus strength or endurance. So 
Um, I very, very much enjoyed. It's gotten really down a bit of a dark path here, to, as you can see our lovely guy here, but very good story, highly recommend checking out. Next is another series, which I've been thoroughly enjoying with only two volumes. Thanks to our friends again for sending me the first volume. Uh, now I'm sold and I end up buying the second volume myself, and that is The Perks of an S-Class Heroine. My daughter, 13, loves this series, as well as you're following this main girl who, um, when she dies, uh, the gods have decided instead of bringing people to heaven, we're just gonna throw you in a book that you've read before. So she gets thrown into this book and she's trying to survive a book that she's read before, but now she's a side character. But she has a nice little perk class and it's just a very, very uh, funny moment. So if you like Esekai series, if you are looking for something with a fancy elements, but just you're laughing as well, this is one I highly recommend. It scratches a bit that same bit, just so leveling with that little system with dialogue and things popping up in front of her and her purchasing things from the item shop that she can use in her world now, but so, so good. Next is one of my favorite current ongoing sports series and that is The Boxer and this is volume seven and so interesting as you're following the main character and there's times where I don't wanna root for the main character anymore. I wanna root for the side character, his opponent. There's times in the series where I'm literally in tears. I never thought a boxing series uh, would have me crying. This is a phenomenal sports series. I highly recommend if you're looking for a good sports series, not only focus on the ring, but what happens behind the scenes and then outside, just seeing the different characters and where they came from, why they are where they are. There's great backstories. This is absolutely phenomenal. All right, next is a series that I love just as much as my son who's 12, and that is Over Gear. Now this is like the perks and so leveling. This is, scratches that similar feel. Uh, it's not quite an isekai series but people have this virtual reality kind of like ready player one they go in this different world and i'm just so sucked in the story why you're following this main character who um, gets the title where he's just becoming a really good blacksmith in the game and you're following his antics and he has a little perk this system thing that's popping up with different things that he can do to have an advantage over other players so very interesting the lore and the backstory behind it uh, i can't believe how much i've enjoyed this so if you like solo leveling you like the Perks of S-Class Heroine, I, this is another one you're gonna love as well. All right, another drama series that kind of scratches and touches your heart just a little bit, and that is See You in My 19th Life. This is volume three. Now, this series, you follow this girl who has lived 18 other lives, and on her 18th life, she finally found and fell in love, and then something tragic happens to her, and, and after dying, she comes back now in her 19th life, and now she's trying to go pursue that person um, that she fell in love with at 18th life. She's a little younger, just having to reset, but it's been very, very good just seeing her as she's wanting to, you know, hopefully, you know, help this person remember who she is as she's going after him. So uh, very, very good seeing the connections happening with us. I think there's, I don't say there's like 10 volumes in this, but for so far I'm, thoroughly enjoying this drama series. All right, let's keep going to the ice press line. The next I picked it is Why Raylena Ended Up in the Duke's Mansion, Volume 7. Oh, so, so good. If you're like, Scott, what about all this ice press line you're showing us? Well, the yeah, eye so lovely, but as well, this is probably one of my favorites as well. This, this is another like Iskai series where this girl falls into a book that she's read in the past. And in the past that she becomes a side character and in the story, the side character ends up being killed. Now she ends up rewriting everything where instead of being the side character, she's kind of insert herself with the main character. And you know, she's fallen in love with the person the main character is supposed to be with and said, and now maybe the main character's gonna return like, uh-uh, that's supposed to be my man. Well, indeed, maybe it's not. So very, very good. I thoroughly enjoy this. My daughter loves this series as well. As soon as I get the next volume, I immediately wanna grab it. Really, really enjoying the series. Next I picked up is Unholy Blood Volume 3. This is probably my favorite ongoing vampire series right now as you're following this girl who's on a path of revenge after she loses someone she absolutely loves. She is this pure blood vampire now hunting other vampires around. You're trying to figure out, you know, it's kind of like Blade a bit, but vampires are living among the, the humans. You don't know who to trust, who you can't. So if you're like a vampire series, looking for a good one, I think there's only seven volumes total in this. This one's been pretty good so far. Next I picked up is The World After the Fall, Volume 7. This scratches that same itch, like so leveling. 
is you're following this main character where this tower appears on earth and he climbs the tower and he gets to the hundredth level and then after the hundredth level something happens and that's just volume one now we're in volume seven and you gotta say this cover is absolutely epic uh thoroughly enjoying this it's not the story i thought it was going to be the man i gotta say the pictures with the color i love all these eyes i'm showing you it's all color which is great too but man the color is absolutely beautiful I, if they have not announced it yet, I'm sure this is going to get an anime because just the action scenes, I'd love to see what this would look like on a screen. So if again, if you like soul leveling, this is going to be something you're going to want to check out as well. All right, up next is I talked about the business proposal. This is one that's probably similar. This is what is wrong with Secretary Kim volume five. I believe there's only six volume soul. So I think there's only going to be one left, which it feels like we're wrapping up the series. Uh, this one gets a little more hot and heavy, if I do say so myself, which it has not before the last four volumes, but, you know, maybe she and maybe this person are starting to see I and I. So, um, if, you're, if you're looking for a good romance drama that's not just throwing hot and heaviness all the way through, um, I've thoroughly enjoyed this so far. I'm very happy for the couple now and where they're, where they're at with not trying to spoil things, but you're following it where... Uh, Secretary Kim has decided, you know what, I'm going to quit. I'm going to be 30 soon and I just need to live my life. And, you know, her, this lovely person here is like, uh-uh, I can't have you leave. You're my best secretary I have. Um, and he decides that, you know what, why don't I just marry you instead and then you'll always be by my side. Like, well, why would I want to do that? You're a jerk. You're a terrible person. So you're a narcissist. So you're following that. So it's been a very good. If you like dramas, this has been a great drama series. And last, we have a series that, man, I feel like it's so similar to all these Korean ones here. But this is The Villainous Turns the Hourglass. Now, this one I thoroughly have enjoyed so far as you're following this villainous here where in the beginning, she ends up right before her death. You find out that her little sister actually is the main villain. That her little sister is the one that turned everything behind the scenes and pushed her into being a terrible person. So she ends up getting her life back and kind of resets in time. And now she's trying to manipulate things behind the shadows, knowing that her sister is really the true villain. And now she's becoming that villainous still herself based off of everything that's happened before. Very interesting. My daughter absolutely loved this series as well. This has been really good. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to ongoing or missing titles that I picked up from Kandansha. The first being Welcome to Demon School. This is volume nine. If you're looking for a good comedy series, just want to forewarn you, there's over 30 volumes in Japan of this, but I'm very, uh, there's an anime as well, which many, many seasons, but I thoroughly enjoy the series. You're following this main character whose parents sold him off to demons and he's a human. Now him disguise himself in the demon world. I'd say the volume one enough will let you know whether or not this is one you would enjoy. And my 13 year old daughter loves the series as well. This has been a thorough enjoyment and many laugh out loud moments. Next is a series that, you know, I ordered for a while and thanks to not getting some of them for a while. Because of that, it's been on my back burner up here, but this is Mangus in the library. This is volume seven. I've just heard nothing but good things for this. I have no excuse. This is one I just need to pick up and start reading. Speaking of sports series, we talked about other earlier, The Boxer. The other one that's probably my favorite sports series going on right now is Blue Lock. And I see this, this is easily my top 20 just series altogether. This is one of those ones that as soon as I read one volume, I immediately want to get the next volume and find out what's going to happen. As you're following these um, sports athletes, sorry, soccer athletes in there, it's like a battle royale as they're trying to figure out who's going to be part of representing Japan when it comes to just the world soccer uh, world. So very, very good. Um, the paneling, the artwork, um, definitely not for kids and, and unfortunately just with some of the language there. If it wasn't for, you know, dropping a couple F words here and there, I actually could see this for a younger audience. But for some reason, you know, they're, they're angry teenagers with a lot of, you know, hormones going in there and rah, rah, rah ego that cause them to say some things maybe they shouldn't. But other than that, very, very good series. You're seeing them battle out, being eliminated, and see who's gonna represent Japan in the world of soccer. All right, next up I picked up is volume three. I'm gonna say uh, Gachakata, which, uh, uh, Gachakuta, or Kata, which obviously all those are wrong, so I do apologize, this is volume three. This is, if you like, describes a similar ish to Attack on Titan. So if you like Attack on Titan, I think this is one you are gonna wanna check out if you follow this main character who, 
uh, lives in the world up in those clouds. He gets pushed off for some reason, which I don't want to spoil. And now he's in this world underneath with trash and all these other things and trying to figure out how to get back up to the world that he was in the clouds again. So uh, really interesting following his character. There's some amazing artwork in the panels and the battle sequences. I'm just, wow, so good. So amazing the details here and some really good, awesome, just some fighting. I'm sure they're, I'm sure if they haven't announced an anime adaptation, I'm sure there's going to be one. This one should do extremely well. Again, if you like Attack on Titan, I think this is the one that's going to scratch a similar itch. Next I picked up is the two-in-one, The Fable. This is volume three, which would be, you know, five and six. Now, I got to say one thing I got hats off to Kondonja because it's definitely not for kids, but they even gave a little warning about harassment. So this manga contains graphic depictions of assault and storyline, including forced work. And I really appreciate is that they gave um, the suicide hotline, the, the assault hotline here, and things on trafficking as well, and then who to call, and yes, this is not okay. So I wish more manga did that. So you're following this assassin who is forced to take a year of retirement of, of you know, laying low edges, and he's just trying to live a normal life and just keeps getting pulled into things. I didn't realize how much of a comedy series. There's many laugh out loud moments. But when it took that dark, serious tone, I do appreciate them identifying and kind of saying, hey, we realize this is not okay. And luckily in this situation, it uh, it kind of came out with a better ending, but it was still a sad situation to see. And to see those things in a manga is usually can be very cringing, especially if it's something that feels like it's fantasized or like, oh, that's not that big of a deal or slap on her. So I really appreciate you know, Kondansha again, I wish more manga gave those warnings in the beginning and then gave you information on how to get out or be aware that, hey, these type of situations are not okay. And last I picked up is the Fire Force Omnibus. I love when you put all the spines together, they continue to go out and they look all nice. Now I think there's one left or two. Yes, yeah, this is 31 through 32, so I think there's like one or two left. So I decide I'm waiting to pick up the whole series. So it's from the same person that gave us Soul Eater. So I decided, you know, I, hey, I thought it was a great deal. And also it's a bigger trim than, you know, some of these other series here. So with the bigger trim and everything, I was like, man, we'll just go ahead and do that. Once I grab them all, my plan is to read it all together and tell you more of what I think about this series. Now let's go ahead and move on to ongoing or missing titles that I received from smaller publishers. From Seven Seas, we got Canyon Cigarettes. This is a assassin series about this girl who's an assassin who works with this old man have not started the series yet. I need to actually pause on buying anymore until I read the series. And then next we have lovely here, Kimono Gen volume 12. Now this story is one where by the fourth or fifth volume, I was actually ready to drop it. And then we got on this like main arc and it's just been really good, very interesting. And then volume 10 and 11 had this just sinister villain and just really good storytelling. I'm like, I'm so glad I'm reading following the series. You're, following this world where uh, there's tanuki so people who can turn into um, raccoons people that can turn into fish you have people that can turn into ogres or some humans are foxes and you're seeing them kind of battle out behind the scenes and at first it didn't feel like it had to have a main arc it's going to be like mystery detective solving you know case after case after case and didn't really come together and after everything started coming in and clicked i'm like oh i really do want to know what happens next so i'm really glad i continued reading Komojin. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been pretty pretty good at watching them fight and go over and over. Next, I picked up is a series that thanks to our friend Mr. Wawu just said was so good. I was like, well, why not from Dempa? And that is Heaven Delusional. This is Volume Seven. This series is definitely not for kids. I know the anime was extremely popular. I have not started reading it sadly, so I'm going to be pausing on buying any more of these. This is also on my short list to pick up soon and read with only seven volumes. Next I picked up is Tokyo Revengers. This is a letter, a letter. Yep, not the main series here, but I do appreciate it has the larger trim. But as you see here, it's not a two in one. So this is a side story. And I actually thought it was a very good volume one side story. And actually with reading up to, I think I'm on 22 of Tokyo Revengers. I'm caught up with the physical printings. I actually felt you didn't need to I think that appreciate and enhance to where you would enjoy this, but I think you could actually read and enjoy this for what it is without knowing Tokyo Revengers, for what is following this Dewinklet here. And you know, you see what got him into the gang to begin with and connections with his person. So 
I thoroughly enjoy this and some of even the panels in the beginning, um, I think the same panels are, I, I felt like I was having deja vu. I'm like, I think I've read this panel for panel before from the manga itself from Tokyo Renders, the main one. So I, I thoroughly enjoyed the spinoff. I thought the first volume was very good and I'll definitely continue with the next one. And last I picked up is the fifth and final volume. This is now complete of Yokohama. This is a lovely slice of life series that just goes a little slower. And with the summer, this would be a great summer read. Now, uh, there's not as much words or dialogue, but you're following this girl who's a robot who has a cafe waiting for her you know, human master return who's been so long, so who knows even if he's going to, so she's a little curious. Just roaming the world in this post-apocalyptic and things have changed where you know the sea has risen places that are now beaches that weren't. And it's just very, such a good just slice of life. Very wholesome, thinky. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed the smaller pace and just the idea of just Things like, you know, feeling the grass between your toes and just the wind and realizing that these small moments are just, just as important as big moments and being able just to enjoy the quiet and just take life for what it is. So thoroughly enjoy this, highly recommend if you're looking for a Slice of Life series, this one's absolutely phenomenal. All right, and last I have for us is new to me from Yen Press. Now I did a lovely video with all these titles as these were sent to me from Yen Press. So I'll just do you super click with you, but if you go ahead and click the I on the right hand corner, you can actually see my video where I go in depth more on all these, which was, you know, my last video. But first is another world. This is my sister stole my name. Highly recommend. This is absolutely phenomenal Isekai series. Uh, next one is the Hayachi specialty that um, Tengu's love. This was a very funny romantic comedy. And then, well, more comedy than the romance, but. Uh, really good next is rejected by the heroes party uh, this is a prequel to rejected by the heroes party uh, don't let that fool you but i thought this was a pretty good first volume i think there's only gonna be three of these it actually makes me intrigued where i want to check out the main series which i think is 15 volumes next is called strategic lovers which i don't recommend at all you can see me do a lovely rant on that if you want uh, but i don't recommend it and Next, I think this was actually sent to me by Red Anyways. This is a volume 15. No matter how I look at it, it's you It's you guys' fault. I'm not popular. This is, instead of a show, this is a Jose series. So this is meant for um, older teens and up. Uh, seeing high school antics, I was, some moments I was laughing out loud. So I was thinking, like, whoa, she said that? Uh, just uh, a adult humor and just the things that were said was I definitely see this as viewed for older teens so if you're looking for something that is not a shoujo series but a more of a jose and you're looking for some humor I, I'm actually interested if I didn't have such a backlog this is one I'd want to go and check out the older volume so I was pleasantly surprised how much I actually enjoyed this all right next is a series another one where I was like huh after this I kind of want to check out the other series because I, I thoroughly enjoyed what I read and that is the dark history of the reincarnated princess this is a bunch of side stories so this is 9.5 so um it makes me interested in wanting to check out because there's many moments I was laughing out loud at this series and it's an isekai series and at the beginning they actually purposely help you so you don't feel lost as I a former office worker was involved in an accident on my way to work and now she's a reincarnating into a fantasy novel she wrote from middle school. Next, I picked up one I think is going to be very popular, and this is Dark Souls Redemption. I thought the artwork was really good. It was a bit of a fast read, but very interesting. If you're familiar with the Dark Souls universe, this is a, a its own a story that is in the same universe, but it's separate from the video games itself. I thought this was a very interesting, really good first volume. And then they sent me some light novels which i'm we're starting to check out light novels now which wasn't something i originally did it's a little harder and takes me longer to read just with being dyslexic but first is re-zero the starry knife in another world short story collections and i gotta say absolutely love the artwork in the beginning that they show here of our just lovely people here so as you know we have tons of the manga so they sent that my first love's kiss this is a yuri series of following a girl um I forget the exact quote I said, but in the video you can see a quote to see more of what I thought on that. And then last, they gave a lovely sword art online alternative. This is Clover's Regret. If you like Sword Online, you probably have already read this and already picked it up. This is just, there's so many people who absolutely love that story. So 
that is all we picked up. Hopefully this will be a lot shorter than my last one. I'm trying to get a little faster as I'm talking. So thank you so much for sticking it. If you stuck to it, I just want to say thank you so much for being part of our community, checking out our videos and let me know how I can make them better. I always love your feedback. So if there's something you're like, hey, could you do this instead, Scott? Could you talk about this? Or hey, maybe just show it, show me. I don't need to hear what you thought. I just want to see what you bought. Let me know because I could make those as well. So I really appreciate you being a part of the community. Thank you again for sticking to the end. And if you'd like to see more comments like, say comments, content like this, if you've not done this already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.